Welcome back to the Career AMA series where we answer your questions and other popular career related questions on Google. And this one is really interesting, which is why it is important to keep your career plans flexible at this point in your life. And I thought it was really interesting because what is this point? I've heard people in their early 20s to say, I don't have a lot of experience. I need to be flexible and not just go after what I want. But I also have heard recently spoken with someone probably around age 50 and she's concerned with AI technology, this and that. And she realized that, that she has to be flexible as well. So Mark, what do you think? We want to go to you first on this one. Yeah, look, if if I've noticed one thing in my lifetime, and maybe there's been, you know, always feels in your own lifetime that there's extraordinary change all the time. And I don't know whether that's particularly true because I haven't lived throughout the whole of history. But 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 it feels to me like like, you know, when I was at school, who could have ever expected that I'd be living in this world that I mean that I'm here having a conversation on video with Michael Leckie and Faye here. It's like it's like this was never imaginable. This was not a, this was the stuff of science fiction. This was the stuff of of my of, of my schoolboy fantasies that this world could exist. And 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 here we are. And so I was never at, at school, at any of my schools, going, Well, how am I gonna be prepared for, for, for this happening? Uh, we weren't preparing for this in, in any way whatsoever. So look, you know, here's what I would prepare for is is prepare to be flexible um you know you know train to be flexible train to be accepting of of the new thing and train to be able to hold yourself onto the values that you think are so important that may be from some part of history or some part of your culture and train to be able to balance the two of those things in in the right way to always be moving uh forward and I think we have to do that all the time. I've had some recent situations in my uh, career whereby even now at the age that I'm at, I have to think to myself, okay, Mark, you know, breathe and change is coming right now. And, and you've got to adapt immediately and you've got to manage this situation because others won't be able to manage this situation. But if you can, can you know, hang on in there and breathe and stay adaptable during this, you know, you will be the better for it. Uh, Michael, what do you got on this one? You know, it's funny. P people will, will watch these videos and they'll they'll look at our websites and they'll look at our resumes and they'll think, you guys are so successful. Look at what you're doing. You know, I mean, you know, uh, Mark, you know, advising G7 world leaders, you know, Michael advising clients of Fortune 20 companies. You know, you guys, you've got it all figured out. You, you know, it's, it's easy for you. And yet, I don't think I've ever been in a position that could probably should cause more anxiety than the job I have now. You know, if my clients like what I'm doing, then they pay me. And if they don't, they don't. There's no guarantees. There's no contracts. There's no severance pay. You know, I'm like you, Mark, we're on our own doing our own thing. But what we have learned, we have learned that we can manage through that, that we can manage through change, that we can manage through everything shifting under our feet. And we don't know how we're going to do it, but we do know that we have that change capability, that adaptability. I mean, really, when I when I when I you know wrote my 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 little book here, the Heart of Transformation, about change as a capability, in many ways I wrote it for myself as well because I had to have that change as a capability because that's what keeps me grounded. And and too often <clears throat> we we get fixed on the job or the career, and and, and we think that, that that's the thing and we hang on to it too tightly because the jobs will change what. I'm going to say, well, I was going to say what doesn't change is us. Obviously we do change, but we're the more solid thing there. So if we know who we are, if we know how we operate, if we know what our principles are, if we know we're capable of, then we know that we will learn and adapt and grow and figure it out. And you just continue to do the work of, you know, build, you know, the, the, the connections to people in your proximity to connect with others, to learn, to be open and, and, and this kind of, you know, Life is a bit of an adventure and nothing is planned out as much as we want to pretend it is. It's like the old joke, you know, you want to make God laugh, make a plan, right? And so you just have to know that you're going to respond and move. So when it comes to your career and keeping your plans flexible, the broader you can think about what my career could be, the broader you think about what is it I can bring to any situation, 
I, I think it's fascinating. Every once in a while, I'll play a little mental game, like walk into a, a McDonald's and think, what would be different about me if I worked at this McDonald's? If I was in this drive through how would I be that drive through guy? What would I do differently? And by the way, I don't doubt that you couldn't, I couldn't get in, start at the drive through and continue to work my way up, even if people didn't know my credentials, because I would be thinking about how do I bring myself to this job? So think about how you bring yourself to a job, who you are, what your presence means, and take it from there and let the career bit go where it goes. You stay true to who you are and the opportunities presented to you. More opportunities will be presented. You'll get to make you know better choices or choices you like more. And the career will kind of unfold that way, I think, you know, as, as it needs to. Uh, as as the, the gentleman in, uh, in uh, Harold and Camargo to White Castle said, I tend to find that the universe in, uh, in the end unfolds as it should. So thank you so much for your answers. And if you have questions, remember that you can drop them in the comments below or send it to michaelikey.com forward slash ask.